Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. On this video, we're honestly going to be showing you how to enable a pretty much an old feature here on Windows that technically is called System Restore. Now, System Restore is a very popular issue up there. I know you used to remember on Windows 7 and lower. Um, pretty much what happens is, let's say you did something on your computer and let's say you deleted something or let's say a program got installed, you can pretty much just do System Restore and go back and go back before you mess something up. Or let's say install a program and then now Windows is glitching and something came up, you'll just press System Restore and go back in that time and pretty much everything will be set for it. And that's pretty much what it does. But by default here on Windows, I think I know for sure, I think Windows 10 and 11, it possibly started appearing when Windows 8 was start disabling it. Um, it's pretty much disabled by default. So on this video, we're going to be showing you how you can enable this or vice versa. You'll get us disabled if you wanted to. It's pretty much the same. Also on the edited video, if you want to stay to the end, we'll pretty much be showing you an awesome link where you can get some exclusive Windows licenses or Office or other programs out there. So pretty much cheap, less than $15. So if you want to go to that route, you can, or if you can just follow the links below and pretty much you can follow the links and use our discount code there too. Um, regardless, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you do by default, now Windows 11 is super easy um, in a way, depending on it. You can pretty much go to the start menu and then from there you're pretty much going to go to system. Right, Be sure that you right click underneath the start menu, right click and select system and it takes us to this layout. Now if you don't want to do this route, you can pretty much go to start and then you can search for or you can just honestly just look for settings and you'll get to this location and we're pretty much already at here. You know what I mean? We're on pretty much on system. And then from there, we're pretty much going to go to, if I'm correctly, I'll go to about, and we're pretty much there. This is where we're at. Um, it was that simple. Either out, you're pretty much at that spot. But what we're really looking for is after getting to system and going to about, we're going to system protection. This is pretty much the feature by default that has Windows System Restore disabled. So to enable this, so if you didn't want this on, you can honestly can turn this off right here. So you would have to select what drive you're going to choose. We're going to use pretty much our C drive. That's our system. And we're going to select configure. And this is where you, if you want to turn it, let's say it was on, you'll pretty much honestly press disable and press apply. And that's it. But what we're going to do is go to system protection and turn it on. Now, by default, if you have zero bytes, there's no point of having this. You're pretty much having it disabled. You need to give it some little storage. This is pretty much how many gigs you're going to choose. You can put 10% maximum storage. Now, you understand I'm using a virtual computer, so I only have 50 gigs on the storage. If you have a system that has pretty much, let's say, a terabit, 500 gigs, 200, something like that, you might have more storage. Um, most of the time, you can probably choose like 5%, depending on your storage. That's up to you, your choice. I'm just honestly going to show an example like 5%, and I'm going to go ahead and press Apply and press OK. So now pretty much it creates a system restore point. By default, when you install some programs, they kind of already have the feature that might enable the restore point. But if it doesn't, you can honestly can set this up. Let's say we're going to do a program that you want to install. But before this happens, that it likes to crash your computer, something like that, you can go to System Restore. And you can create pretty much create a restore point and you can name it right here. So it's going to be a test one example. And you can press create and it'll pretty much start doing a system restore point right there. Give it a little second on this. Now this actually there's different ways. You see it pretty much created and it's set right there. And it's press OK. Now if you don't want to do it that road, you can honestly can go to the start, honestly, the search bar. Cause it's, it's so dumb. You go to search, to search, and it transfers you over. I really hate this so badly on Windows 11. I'm, it's like just add it and leave it. Don't go into the second point. Regardless, you can just go to search. And it kind of shows my recent stuff. But if it wasn't there, you would just type in system restore. And pretty much right here, create a restore point. And it takes us to the slot, to pretty much that simple one. You'll press create. And again, you'll name it like test two. Let me see if I do this. Test two and create. And that's pretty much how to set like that. Now, if you want to go to system restore, you'll select it right here. Let's say you can undo your system and reverse and you'll press system restore. And pretty much takes it to this. Now, system restore actually does go into more details when you go to safe mode and actually maybe show you how to just in a bit just in case and you'll pretty much go to process and press next and you'll choose the times when you did this now if you installed a program it might have created it itself and you might show additional features if it's there but pretty much here's the first two and you'll choose let's say the old version that was there and you press next and press next and you'll press finish and I'll do like that but honestly I'm counting this and that's pretty much how to do this now on Windows 
10 and 11, there's ways to do it like this, and there's so many op different ways for it. But all you're going to do is pretty much, you know, so you don't even have to be signed in. You can go to the menu, you're going to sign in, and I support your password. And what you do is you're going to hold the shift button, and you're going to hold the power button, and you're going to press restart. And keep holding that shift button, and it pretty much goes into this please wait mode. And see, actually, it's going to transfer me over because it's a virtual computer. And pretty much it says please wait. And let it do its work real quick. So what this is pretty much doing is going into a pretty much a recovery mode right here. And this is pretty much where you see continue and it says troubleshoot or you can turn off your PC. You can press continue and just go back to Windows. But let's say if Windows kept crashing and kept getting a glitch and keeps letting you go through, then you'll choose the troubleshoot. Do not select reset this PC. Trust me, this will already almost delete all your stuff. So don't click that unless you know exactly what you're going to do. Don't do it. Just don't do it. <laughs> Regardless, I'm going to choose is pretty much go to advanced options. And then from right here, we have pretty much the startup repair, startup settings, command prompt, system image recovery. Usually HP or Dell or some programs usually have this feature. It might have their own program structure for it too. Or you can go to uninstall updates. We don't honestly do not mess with these unless you don't know what you're doing. Honestly, what I'm just showing you is you're using system restore. So here's system restore, and this is going into recovery mode. And then from that point, we'll press next. And here we are. I'm going to pretend like we're doing test one. Then you'll press next. And it's going to confirm your restore point. So we're going to press finish. And it tells you once we pretty much started, Windows restore point cannot be interrupted. So honestly, if this does take a while, I might just fast forward this for you. But pretty much remember that you're going to do this process. That's going to might happen. I'll let you know if an issue happened or if it failed. I've had this happen many times. It says System Restore has failed, but yet it still did it. So I honestly don't know how to explain these to Windows. They've had big problems all the time. Regardless, I'm going to go ahead and press Yes. And it's going to do its initializing. And then it says Restoring Files. It honestly will go pretty quick because I don't really did anything on the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and let it do its work. So when I restore point comes, and if I look for system restore of the past, it may not be there, but we'll we'll see. We'll find out. So if this takes too long, I might just like transition to the video and I'll show you once it's coming back up. But for right now, I'm just going to let it do its work. So now it's pretty much saying that it's pretty much finalizing the file, replace, restore pretty much the files that have changed on there. Trust me, nothing has really changed. We just created a system restore, so it, it's literally nothing. And it pretty much tells us that the system restore completed successfully. Well, we didn't do nothing. So, of course, it, it'll probably work perfectly fine. So, from that point, we're going to go ahead and press restart. And there's a virtual computer again. Because this is just a demo to show you how to make these videos. And here is pretty much Windows 11 pretty much loading up. And here we are. By default, this is Windows 11. I don't actually don't even have a password. I'll probably make another video of this later. And it tells us again, letting us know that System Restore completed successfully. And that's pretty awesome when you get those things. That's the cool feature. And we're pretty much, let's say we had something that got installed and it messed up. We're pretty much back to that restore point that is there. Now, honestly, I'm probably going to go to start. And let's say if this restore point didn't want to work right, I can search this again. I can just type in System Restore and click it. And I can press System Restore what's on there. And we'll press next. And you see, let's say we did that when it went to manual and it caused a problem and we went back and it still didn't help. Then forget this. I want to go back to the first one. You'll press next and you get the concept and it's pretty much done. Now, again, if you don't want to use the system restore, you can search it or again, you go to settings and a pretty much about on system and you'll pretty much get to the same location. I honestly just search system restore and this is where it took us to. And all you have to do is if you don't want this on here, you'll pretty much go to configure. And you'll pretty much press disable and press apply. And it tells you, are you sure you want to turn this off? So pretty much if you had any system restores, they will be deleted. And technically gives you more storage on your disk drive. But regardless, I'm going to press yes and press OK. And press OK. And you are pretty much good. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair. And I will see you on the next video. If you are searching for a cheaper route for like a Windows 10 product key, or maybe you don't want to pay for that monthly subscription for Microsoft Office, then head over to premiumcdkeys.com. From there you can choose software, and you have a variety of different type of operating system product keys you need. They even have the Microsoft Office for discounted codes that you can use to activate them too. Just choose which one you want, and it'll be very useful. The one I'm going to use is go ahead and use a Windows 10 Pro product key and they tell you instructions and stuff if you need to do the ISO that's needed and activations how to do it it's pretty simple and just choose what you want I'm gonna go ahead and select add to cart for the Windows 10 Pro product key and then here we are I'm gonna go ahead and go to checkout 
and you can use our discount code called Helton's Computer Repair and press apply. This will give you a small percentage of discount that helps you and helps us too. From there, you can type in your billing information or you can use PayPal. Be sure on the contact information for the email that you do use an email that you have access to because that is where they're going to pretty much send you the product key for the activations for it. So you will need that to be done. And that should be pretty much it. Just go ahead and complete your transaction and everything should be good. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.